not every day could be the perfect day of weather. So we're gonna launch this out here. I th I'm guessing I can fish comfortably about a half mile out, but I think we're just gonna run over to the bridges and see what we can find. This is gonna be an interesting test at the end of this because it's been a lot of rain. <laughs> you know, it's an electronic device, but I think this Florida Keys trip will be a good test. It's a lot of stress on electronic equipment where I'm fishing. It's just always kind of damp, super high salinity levels. So uh, usually uh, this is a good test. We'll see how it does after this trip here. Got channel two, channel five, I don't know. We're fishing close to the house today. So let's see what we can do out here. All right, no love on the diesel minnow. Not a tarpon. Something interesting though. Drag is sticky. He's doing donuts on me. Somebody told me they catch red drum here sometimes. That's gonna be cool if that's what that is. I'm gonna go with Jack though. Maybe a grouper. Snook, okay, that makes some sense. Snook on a bridge here. That's not a bad one. I mean, I'm sure there are much bigger ones, but you know, I'm, I'm kind of cooking it up, cooking it up here. Light tackle stuff. The colors on them out here too. Unbelievable. Hard to move off these things, man. These seem to be one of the best lures around for these parts. It seems like they do better than a paddle tail. I was throwing a Z-Man for a long time and I really didn't get any bites. Just that thin, Luke seems to be such a good fish catching machine here. You gotta take that risk and fish the light, light leader though, man. As soon as you start going up to 30 pound leader around here, it seems like it's, yeah, you're done, it's over. Oh gosh, that was big. I think I saw someone play, trying to pay my, I was about to pay my taxes there, I think. I think that was a shark that came up with him. It looked like a black tip. No, nothing outrageously big or scary, but still rather not get a fish shark at my kayak. Let me try this Vertrex again here. Oh, hello. Mangrover. Mangrove snapper on the Vertrex there. Getting on some bites. I mean, this ain't furious, amazing fishing, but we got a snook, jack. Yeah, all things considered, it's not too bad. Just fishing right on the edge of the rocks here on this. This zone.
pretty decent one. Oh, I'm gonna keep this one. See, I'm guessing 12 and change here. Just about 12. Right about 12 inches, they start to get a little bit of a fillet on them. So let's keep a few. Okay, you're allowed five of these guys in that snapper aggregate. So. Water's clearing up pretty quick though. There's a fish. What is this? Charging me really fast. Oh, now I'm kind of nervous what this is because I think this might be a shark getting chased. By the way, he's gone. Not a shark, I'm. Um... Yeah, whoa! Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! I guess it went hard on that fish, huh? Got an opened up hook and a broken point. This patch of mangroves look really good. It's a Grover. They like these vibrating lures, it seems like. It'll be Grover 3. First two are keepers. This guy's short, but yeah, they seem to show some aggression towards these sorts of lures. Some heavy leaders got there. I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to cruise around 10 feet, see how it is out half mile out. Take it from there. All right, 10 feet. It looks busy. No barracudas. That's kind of strange to me. All right, let me try the this little jig here. It looks like it's mostly grass down here. But it's hard to tell. Just had a bite on the troll here. I don't know what this is. He's right up top, <laughs> acting like a spotted sea trout. What the heck is that? Small jack, maybe? Small barracuda? Oh, yellow jack, that's a pretty good one, man. Cool. Yeah, we'll keep him. Bigger than the one I got at the bridge. Just now. Careful. Oh. Keep one of these guys. I think these guys are excellent too. So these guys, in my opinion, uh, when you cook them, they start to lose that that flavor. But in a raw dish, these yellow jacks are awesome. Eat the vibe lore too. I 
Oh no. Oh, broke me off either way. I don't think that was a shark. I think that might have been a mutton or a grouper. There's enough coral here. I think he can F me up. No idea. It was a nice fish either way though. Some coral here and I guess there's a few fish. So I don't know what that was. That could have been, I don't know, good question. I feel like that could have been a jack too then. Button. Perfect, thank you. Wonder what I missed earlier though. I feel like that wasn't a mutton, but maybe it was a, if that was a mutton, it was a big one. Whatever I missed earlier, like a mid 20 incher for sure. A lot of small muttons here. I do think this is a popular spot, so it probably gets hit hard. So I think I'm gonna go back to the 10 foot drop and just work it. It's a porgy. I don't know the type of porgy. I think that's a knob head, little knob head, little head, grass porgy. Got a lot of different names, but either way. Put them back for now. Let's try this end of the reef here. Now I'm going back to the 10 foot zone. Pushed out to 15 on this reef here. Seems like it's got a little bit of life, but I'm gonna stick with that 10 foot contour. It seemed like that might be better. Something there. Mutton? Little mutton? Probably a little mutton. I feel like I missed a pretty decent sized mutton earlier. This guy's like 16 or 17. Funny. It seems like the grass is better than the actual rocks. The rocks got a lot of um, fish too, but this seems to be better for casting lures, which is vast. earlier then. Tricks. Barracuda, right? I think so. No, get her. These are going around that trap. Did 
definitely went around it. Here he is. I think that was a barracuda, right? Shark. I think it was a black tip. Looks like a black tip shark. They like those vibrating lures, huh? Oh, it's a white daughter. Oh, this guy. The smaller the shark, the harder to handle. You know how that goes. Everyone's favorite right here. The white daughter. All right, I think I'm about to wrap this up. I saw a lot. I learned a lot today. Just checking out ledges. We've got some weather coming, I think. There's a small patch of coral here. Oh, there's some life here. Let's see what we got. I don't know what it is, but. Maybe jacks, I don't know. Okay. Moving around. Six, three. Yeah, it's a yellow tail. Okay, that's a pretty nice one. That's not a bad yellow tail right there. Much bigger than the ones I was catching earlier. that one. Snook, mangrove snapper, yellow jack, jack creval, mutton snappers, all shorts on that end. Yellow tail, sharks, one really good fish I lost. Really wanted to spend a lot of time looking at soft ledges today and stuff like that. So maybe we'll pick up tomorrow. I, got, I want to try to get Meg out one more time. There's a lot of life out in the 12, 14 foot stuff scattered. I'm not looking for like, hey, coming to the keys, like, hey, tell me where to fish people. I like to do it on my own and just kind of try different things and see it all. Um, a lot of life out in the 10 to 20 foot stuff, but a lot of small fish. But I'm fishing inefficiently with, you know, lures. I'm not fishing with bait. Working my way in now though. So, all right, I think we'll pick up tomorrow. I'm gonna try to bring Meg out one more time. I don't know if I wanna go back here. We'll see what tomorrow, what to do. There she goes, he's paddling away. Okay, returning to the ledges by the house in Isla Mirada. Having good success in, in my opinion on the bridges. I've had a good time on those, but still want to learn some of the other stuff, which might be a little more challenging, a little more nuance. Um, and I just like popping into different areas. So this is one of the closest launches to where we stay. So uh, it might not be the best and that's fine, but I still want to learn it, right? Plenty of boat traffic to New Year's Eve. So it's going to be an adventure. Drop right here. Bounce over to the other side. 
Lots of people fish on this bridge, so it's like, eh. Can't quite bounce around on the bridge where there's, you know, chum bags and lines hanging everywhere. But let's see what we can find here. Oh yeah, wow. It's pretty. I gotta really pick my poison. That trolling stuff sometimes is a good cheat code. A little lumpy, we're gonna push out to some shallow rocks out here in like 12 feet of water, 12 to 15. I've never done good where I'm headed, but we'll see. You can go over it for sure, but it's it's deep. You don't have to worry about it. It's 10 feet of everything, but just not don't drop on top of it. Like I'm gonna cast on the edge of it here. Or I'm gonna say I'm gonna cast on the edge of it, and then gets, then gets stuck. What do we got? Ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, that fought real good. Sweet, we got something. Feels like a flounder. Yellow jack. Yellow jack. That's the yellow jack. All right, found something here. It's really more about the ledge than the actual structure, it seems like. Jacks. I don't think there's a bull shark here, thankfully. These ledges, like, are, they're definitely a lot of fun. They might not be the best, but they're convenient because they're loaded with fish. And they're, they're close in for a kayak. That's really what I'm piecing together here. Be nice to see a couple of mackerel, but I think these are jacks. Jack Creval, different flavor. Catch these in North Carolina. Catch these in most of the coast. Not as exotic as the yellow jack. I think I saw something here. Yeah, a couple of fish here. Ooh, nice mangrove. Should I keep a mangrove? Or nah? What do you think? We're good? Yeah, I think we're good. He'll do just fine. It's a nice mangrove snapper. Chomp, chomp. Come on, do it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. There's some fish here. There's some fish here, baby. Who's this? Who's this? A little mutton. Little mutton.
there's an I think there's another small patch of rocks right in front of that between the next buoys in between those two I'm also uh, let's see what it is yeah I'm just getting grunts here I think Got a nice fish. You're gonna have to turn around and start chasing them. Yeah, start chasing them. It might be a shark. I think that's. You better get him. I think I'm gonna have to t bring some bad news. What I think that is, though. <laughs> Maybe not. Keep it tight, keep it tight, get on them. Keep going. And you're gonna have to be ready to go whichever way around the front of your kayak he goes. Hey, never know. Might get lucky, it might be a snapper. I think he's got some wings. He's either got wings or... Can you see it? Oh yeah, no. Oh, I have one. I get it. Zoom fluke fish. I think that's a jack. Maybe a snapper. I'm starting to see a little bit bouncing, that's why. So I'm starting to get optimistic actually what that might be. I think it's got big fish. But Cow fish me today, that's for sure. <laughs> Don't reel against it. Just let him come to me. Yes, now start pumping. Yep. Looks like it's a fish. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Mutt. Nice work. Oh my god. Baby, let him, let him, let him, let him. Let him. Uh, big, he's giant, baby. Oh my god. This you gotta go, go keep his head, keep his head in the water. Keep his head in the water. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Oh perfect. <laughs> Just keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. We'll I think we'll release him. Oh my god. <laughs> I talked a lot of trash on that fish. Oh. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. I got kind of happy at the end because he started pumping his head a bunch. Oh my God. That was so High exciting. High five. That was so exciting. I can't exciting. believe you did that. All right, all right. Let's see. What are we going to do? You want to measure him? Yeah, I want to see how big it is. That's okay. Yeah, just keep him in the water. It'll be okay. easier with two of us. Good work. Okay. <laughs> I got to lift it up. So hang on. Um, <laughs> let me get the, try to get the lip gripper on him. Okay. So this way you can handle him. Um, I got it right here. Okay. I'll get my phone out, try to get a nice picture. Yeah. Like I said, as long as he's in the water, you can handle him. It's just fine. I think he might go 29, 30 inches. It's huge. The mouth is closed. So you're gonna have to probably get the gripper on either uh, in, the, in the kayak here or it yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now is the time to do it. You're all ready. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a huge mutton snapper. Wow. Get my phone out. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now I take this out. Take it out. Mm -hmm. Good wow. work not losing that. All right, perfect. You did a great job. That's, that's hard work, all that.
Nice work. Nice work, baby. Wow. 31. Oh, oh my god. Nice. Okay. What you need to do here. How do I? Yeah, you're gonna have to put this through your wrist. Yeah. When you lift him, okay. support him by the belly. Okay, now put him in the water so I can get a, <gasps> a picture of him. Okay, okay. Lift him. One the other hand's gotta support his weight on the bottom. Try to okay. ready? Sun's not the best angle. Okay. See if he wants to start moving. Okay, buddy. Where are you going? He's okay. Yeah, he'll be good. You promise? Yes. He didn't come up. He didn't surface. Nothing. That's the biggest. <laughs> it's a big mutton snapper. Or was it a 31 inch mutton snapper? Oh my god. Nice work. Well, it's two days of drifting around near the near the house. Mike got a 31 inch mutton snapper. <laughs> We're just drifting and dreaming mostly. Um, not really uh, on any hot spots, I don't think. So, t tough day though overall. I mean, a lot of those smaller yellow jacks. I got one keeper mangrove today. Um, a lot of short red grouper. And quite a few short muttons. And Meg had that 31 inch mutton in the mix. with monster. And it ate the same thing that we were using the other day. Zoom flukes, so. That's Meg's biggest fish so yeah, far? Yeah. That's ever. ever. That's the largest fish Meg's got so far, ever. When I was talking trash, it was gonna be a shark on the way up. Stingray. I mean, we could have kept that fish, but uh, that's an older fish. It'll probably do better uh, out there in the wild versus uh, in the cooler. Um, it's not like we have a shortage of fish to keep, so I know they're good and um, yeah, but let that fish get another minute. It had some scars on it. It was a little bit on the, the roughed up side. So I wonder if they're typically shallow like that where that fish might've been here because he had a, an injury. I don't know, not, not too sure. He did have some scars on him though that, were, that he was uh, beat up a little bit. So Meg's leaving tonight. So I'll be here for one more week cooking up some stuff. <laughs> Again, we're gonna cook up a mutton snapper tonight. So hope everyone's having a good new year so far. That's when this is uploading. And yeah, I'm gonna get myself back on the beach. A couple of fun days exploring some new stuff. And appreciate everyone for watching. I'll catch up with you on the next video.